Good morning. I want to begin a series with you over the next uh, maybe a couple weeks or so. Uh, thinking about time. Time. Time is a funny thing. We, we lament time a lot. Uh, we have anxiety in regard to time. Uh, sometimes time feels fleeting. Time doesn't always feel like it moves at the same pace. You can get caught up doing something and you can't believe how much time went by or you can't believe the time you wasted or you can't believe um, how time as you get older feels like it goes quicker. We say things like, man, time sure flies. It doesn't actually. It, uh, it is not a bird. And it actually doesn't move faster in that way. It just is a constant experience. But our relation to it is important because there is an economizing of time in terms of how God has chosen to work in the world. So probably the most famous section in, the, in Scripture about time is Ecclesiastes 3. It reads like this, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born. And we get these these polarities, right? A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Um, I just want to leave you with one thought. This is a very poetic. Sometimes in reading those opposites, um, you have different feelings. Even when you hear that, uh, a time to keep a time to cast away, a time to seek and a time to lose. It can bring up all kinds of emotions of things that you've gone through or are going through in your life. Um, but I want you to remember something, and that is that God is sovereign over time. According to uh, Psalm 139, every day was written um, in his book before one of your days came to be. He has written out your life. And so... These polar things you go through are all curated by God. That's important to remember as we think about time over the next several days. Um, Samuel, uh, I believe it was Samuel Johnson. Um, uh, no, it was Ben Johnson, excuse me. It was Ben Johnson said that time was the old bald cheater. I've always liked that statement by Ben Johnson. The old bald cheater. Uh, the idea is it's 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 across the table from you, and as you're as you're playing with it, it feels like it's taking from you. It's taking from you, and you don't even realize how it's taking from you until one day maybe you wake up in the mirror and you go, "Where did it all go?" So let's think about time, because time is a gift. Time is a gift, and that's probably where we'll end up starting uh, in our next meditation on time. May the Lord bless you. And may you take time today to think about time. Take care.